This is tutorial number eight, where it's finally time to put some action to our nodes instead of text. We're on the sphere. Let's click on the attack player node, assign action task. We're going to type in move to, we're going to do move to target. Maybe in the next tutorial, I'll change the titles of these so they can be more specific. We want the one that's going to use nav mesh agent still on our sphere. Let's go ahead and add component. We're gonna now add a nav mesh agent. Now that attack player node is empty. It has an empty target. We have to create that. For this, we're gonna use the binary selector. Right now it's doing a sphere collision and that collision is gonna have a target. We're gonna save that target because that target is gonna be our player. Click on the binary selector. On the bottom left, there's save game object as do create new, and let's rename that variable to player. Back on our move to on the attack player node, click on the big circle in the end, then assign that to player. Now it's gonna be a rinse and repeat. We're gonna do the return home, click on it, assign action task, and we're gonna create another move to, but this time target position. Because so right now we're just gonna move to zero, zero, zero. Later on, we're gonna change this return home to returning to its actual original position, but we'll do that in the next tutorial. Now let's click play, but unfortunately for me, it's not gonna work. I forgot to do one thing, and that's the most important thing. Let's go to our plane, go to inspector, set that to static, go to the navigation task, and let's bake. Now that we have a nav mesh for our nav mesh agent to actually move, Let's try it out. And we can see that cube hits the sphere collider. The ball starts chasing us. And once we get out of that range, we exit the collider and the ball returns to its original position. And remember, it's pausing because that debug log text holds that text for a second. So it's freezing the tree until that one second has passed. That's it for tutorial number eight. In the next one, we'll finish up this mini series and then we'll start working with characters, with animations and doing something quite similar to this, but much more complicated. Now is the time for any viewers out there. If there's anything you would like to see in future tutorials, go ahead and leave a comment and maybe I'll work something out.